your girl Jen and today's video is about posing for photos. I know it can feel pretty awkward and daunting getting your picture taken, but it doesn't always have to feel that way. This is why I've whipped up 10 of my go-to poses so it just makes life easier in front of the camera. And if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you're subscribed. The button is down below, so join the family. All right, so without further ado, let's get on with the poses. So my first pose is called the lean, and this one is super easy. All you gotta do is find a wall and lean on it. You can lean on it sideways for something more laid back and chill, or you can lean on it just directly for something that's more straightforward. Uh, but my little pro tip is to kind of arch your back and pop your butt out a little bit and have that resting on the wall. It looks really weird from the side, but directly it just slims you down and makes you look good. Pose number two is called the crossing, and this is when you have your legs crossed. I find that when my legs are crossed, the pose looks a lot more dynamic as opposed to just having my legs just parallel next to each other. I feel like the pose looks a little flat that way, but when you've got it crossed, I mean, I feel like it elongates your figure and it's just more flattering to your body. If I'm not wearing heels, I always make sure to tiptoe. Those two extra inches goes a long way and when you are tiptoeing, you're flexing your legs so it looks leaner and elongates your body. The next pose is called the strut, and this is pretty much like the previous pose, but you're actually walking. So instead of just having one leg over the other, you're actually gonna give yourself a little one-two step. Um, I find that when you when you try and physically walk, it's hard for the photographer to capture that moment. So I do like a little rocking motion to try and capture that shot. It looks really dumb in real life, but I swear when you get the photo, it's totally gonna be worth it. I find that the most difficult part about the strut for some reason is I always blink when I walk. I don't know why, but just try and keep your eyes open or if, if the eye contact's not happening, feel free to just stare, stare forwards for something that's a little bit more candid. So pose number four is called the koi arms. And I decided to name it this because when I do this pose, it kind of looks like you're a little koi, like you've got a little secret. Uh, but this is when you have one hand and you place it on your elbow, your forearm, or even like your wrist, even the shoulder, I mean, depending on the like the mood that you're going for or the variety of shots you wanna take, just basically move your hand all across the opposite arm. One little pro tip is I like to pop up my shoulder just to give it a little bit more of like an elongated arm because it looks like it starts from here as opposed to here. So the next pose is called the candid hands and this is essentially just keeping your hands busy. Uh, one of my favorites is just a little ear tuck, like you're just kind of adjusting yourself, kind of you know caught off guard a little bit. Uh, just kind of fix your hair behind your ear or even kind of flip your hair over. Keeping your arms kind of moving and your hands busy, I feel like that always translates really well in front of the camera. If you're wearing an outfit that has pockets, definitely use them because you can just throw your hands in your pockets and you don't have to worry about posing them. It just looks like you're keeping your hands warm. The same thing goes with pants pockets. If you have a pocket in your bottom, definitely just throw that hand in, make it look like you're reaching something out of there. And if you don't have any pockets, but you got some belt loops, those work too. You just throw your thumbs in. Kind of looks a little cowgirly, but I think it looks cool too. <laughs> If you still can't figure out what to do with your hands, just throw in a prop. Uh, my favorite one is definitely a drink in your hand, uh, like maybe like a Starbucks cup or a mug, a cup of coffee. It just keeps your hands busy. You can throw both hands on them, take a little sippy sip. Uh, it's just about interacting with something in your photo as opposed to just like standing there blankly. Next up, we've got the sit and stare. One of my favorite places to take photos are staircases because I just love how relaxed they look. It's very street style. Uh, one tip I have is to always keep your feet on different stairs or different steps because it gives the photo more layers and it gives a chance for you to elongate your body even though you're sitting down. It just looks like you're chilling or you've had just a really long day and you just had to sit down on some stairs and take a breather. Pose number nine is called the look back at it. And this is when your body is facing away from the camera, but your face is facing towards the camera. So it looks like you've just been summoned like, oh, you, you called me <laughs> type of thing. Uh, this one definitely requires some synchronizing with your photographer. So maybe have them count down when they're going to take the photo so you can move your head. The goal is to have a little bit of movement in your hair, but sometimes it's just really hard to get the shot. So I'll just literally just look back this way and just get the shot that way. When all else fails and you don't know what to do, just 
hop the peace sign. This is an easy pose that anyone can do. You can have it directly next to you, close to your face, above, on somebody. It all, I mean, anything goes with the peace sign. It's just, I don't know, I just always think it's cute. This is one of my go-tos when I really don't know what to do. I feel like it's really lighthearted, cute, and it promotes a good message, peace. <laughs> All right guys, so those were 10 poses that you can try for your next Instagram post or just any photo you want to in general. Uh, I am definitely not a professional model and I know that there are so many other poses that you can do, but honestly, these 10 are the ones that I just kind of gravitate towards most because they're comfortable and easy to do. If you end up trying any of these, make sure you tag me on Instagram and write down the pose that you use in the caption. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Uh, it's all about having fun and capturing the moment. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button so it will encourage me to film more of these videos for you. Uh, I think for my next like photo taking series video, it might be different locations you can take a good photo at. I think I would divide it. I mean, even Los Angeles itself has so many different backdrops. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.